Hello everyone. In this lesson of the tutorial, we will learn how to create speedometer chart in Excel. The second topic we will learn in this exercise is, is how to create spin button and how to attach the spin button with the speedometer chart. So the moment when I click on the spin button, my target value get changed and my needle also get reflected between the zones. So in the first step, I will learn how to create this chart and in the second step, we will learn how to connect this pin button with this target value so we can reflect this needle between these zones red, yellow and green zone. So let's go ahead and perform this exercise. In the first table range we have three zones red, yellow and green zone of 15, 45 and 40 points which in total will become 100 and we have an end portion 2 of 100. So we have created our donut chart here of 200. Speedometer basically is the combination of a donut and a pie chart. With the help of donut chart we will create our zone, scale of zone and with the help of pie chart we will create our needle. So let, let us first create our donut chart. Select our zones. Click on the insert. Under chart panel. Under others. Click on donut chart. Here is our donut chart. If you notice in our donut chart under the legend, our red zone is coming in blue color. So we have to change it. Double left click on the red zone. Right click, format data point. From fill, click on solid fill and select the from the palette red color. Same we have to change for yellow. Select the yellow, left click on it. From fill section, solid from the palette pick the pink color green is already in a green color let me give it a dark green color select it fill from the palette click dark green color okay now the last end portion is in the purple color and we want to make it transparent or a no fill to do it we have to select the double left click on the end portion right click Form a data point from the fill section select no fill now if we see our donut in a speedometer chart our end portion starting point are for our red portion is here so now we have to reflect this red portion by 270 degree to do it we have to select our donut right click on it click on format data series and we have to change the rotation by 270 degree perfect ok now we have the scale of zones we can delete these legends select and delete them now we have to add needle in the chart to add the needle in the chart we have to add another series in this chart to add another series in the chart we have to select and right click on it click on select data under legend entry section click on add series add series values from this needle portion click ok so now we have another series with the same chart type donut ok let me uh, take you through this uh, table of pie chart in the first cell we have target value in the second cell we have needle width the width of this black needle and the target point is how much score we have achieved so this is our target point the third is a rest, po rest portion which is 200 minus sum of target minus plus needle why because my first donut is in the scale of 200 so we also have to create pi at the scale of 200 ok so that's why in rest portion we have subtracted it from 200 target plus needle width value ok now let's change the chart type of this donut right click select the chart select the donut right click on it select change series chart type and from here you can pick pie chart click ok now if you notice our pie chart is in 
on the back side of our donut so if we want to bring it above above the donut chart we have to select pie right click on it click on format data series click on secondary axis now to match the scale of pie and donut we ha also have to change the rotation orientation of this pie by 270 degree to do it in the same same way we have to perform this step select the pie chart right click on it format data series rotation by 270 degree now this red portion in the pie the third portion in the pie is our needle so we have to make first this blue and green portion no fill to do it first select green portion click twice left click then right click format data point from fill select no fill in the same way we have to do it for first portion select blue color from fill select no fill now we have the needle with red color so the moment when we change target value to 45 our needle will refract in yellow zone so in the same way if we change it to 15 this will reflect in red zone okay if you want to change the color of needle we have to select needle it's little tricky to select third needle then right click on it format data point fill solid fill black color okay so now we have successfully created the donut and a pie chart the result is our speedometer chart okay now let's create this pin button to create this pin button we have to click on developer tab under controls panel under insert toolbox the fourth control we have is spin button click on it drag it to assign the cell link to this pin button we have to right click on it click on format control change minimum value by 1 maximum till 100 because scale is still 100 incremental change by 1 cell link is target value press ok so the moment when I click on this pin button my needle get reflected between the zones Thank you everyone.